user data for testing out scripts and doing tutorials and uh, populating databases for testing purposes. And I've done that by taking real voter registration and shuffling up the names and addresses and whatnot. Um, but there's a lot of projects out there, but I came across this one the other day. I really like it. Uh, it's called, uh, the web website is randomuser.me and it's a free and open source API for generating random user data. Uh, and I came across this because I was looking for user images, but it gives you a lot more than that. So you can see here, here's a website and it shows uh, some user information here. I can see all this girl's information. Again, it's not real. If I refresh the page, it should give me somebody else with other fake information. Uh, and you can see if we go to photos here, you know, just randomly, uh, I don't want to say generated images, but it randomly selected from their list of images. Um, some images to display and if I refresh the page it's going to give me different images and I can do that and it's super simple so how does it work let's go up to their documentation and just click on how to use and right here it just it shows you some um, JavaScript here for doing doing a Ajax request in the background but all I really need is this URL right here which is uh, randomuser.me forward slash API. If I put that into my browser right here, I hit enter, it's going to give me a random user's worth of information. Uh, web browser doesn't format it very well right here, but if we look here, this is an example of what we would get. And each time I call that URL, it will give me the information, but it will tell you for results, the a gender, it will give you a title, a first and last name. It will generate a address for you with a city and a state and a postal code, code and latitude and longitude, time zones. It will generate a fake email address. Uh, obviously, it's not a real email address that you can use. This is all for, uh, again, when you're testing software, you need to see what it's like using real user data, but you don't necessarily have the user data. You can generate fake user data like this. You know, it'll give you a username, it'll generate a password for that person with a salt and a hash and you know a date of birth so you don't have to you can generate all this stuff yourself with a script but it's super simple this way and you get those images which are real images that people have submitted um, so again uh, super simple to just get one user bit of information here but if we read down a little bit further you can see you can also request a certain number of results right here they're listing 5,000 let's just do 50 so again it's just random user dot me api question mark uh, and then you give it results and the number of results you want. I can do five, I can do 50, I could do 500. And not only is it giving me, again, that user information, but it's also giving me a link to an image, a large image, which still isn't a very high resolution. You know, it's just basically four applications, uh, a medium and a thumbnail, which is even smaller. Um, and you can link to those directly as well. Uh, there's other things you can do, you know, other than results, you can also say gender, you want uh, a male image. If you want a password, you can tell it for a password, I want upper and lowercase, one to 16 characters. So a lot of stuff you can do. But uh, what's great about this is, again, it's you're just doing an API call. So you can do it through JavaScript like this or any language that you can do an HTTP request. So uh, how would we do this in the shell? Well, let's go to the shell. And again, the URL is just randomuser.me api so i can use wget or curl if you prefer curl and i'm just going to say quiet and dump the output to the shell here and there we go i got random user data and of course i can uh, if you have jq installed if not it's in your repository it's very useful It'll help you format and search through um, json output i can do pipe it into jq and it will format it for me. So that's the same information, just format it a little bit nicer so we can read it. I can scroll back here. You can see uh, what it's generated for me. And I can do the same thing. And again, I can change this and I can say uh, question mark results equal 10. And I will get 10 different random users generated. And of course, I can look at this image here that it got. So that's the user image generated there. And again, they seem to have a folder for women and men, and they're just kind of numbered. So you can almost just not even use the whole API. If there's a picture you want to use regularly, you just, you know, type in that number and that's person 20 if in the women's directory. Um, so yeah, super simple to generate stuff. I have some notes on this uh, up on Pastebin, uh, which I will link to in the description of the video. And of course, uh, you can simply do something like this and then I could grep for large and probably get the large image there and then I can cut based on the quotation marks, probably four, I think. 
there we go. Now I got uh, a bunch of um, large, again, they're not very high resolution, but I got user images, so I just do that there. Of course, if you're more familiar with things uh, using JQ, uh, a more efficient way might be to use JQ. So I could do something like this. Uh, I'll just copy it from my notes. Again, this will be in the link in the description. Uh, but I'm going to say, give me two results, put it in JQ. I'm going to say, okay, from those results, from that array, uh, find a name. I want the first and uh, the large picture. So I do that. It gave me a first name and a large picture, which is not an English name. Let's see. There we go. So uh, Jersey uh, and Rowie. I don't know if that's how you say that. Um, so yeah, so you can use grep if you want. JQ is a useful tool once you learn how to use it. I have many examples on the uh, pastebin link in the notes in the description of the video, uh, how to search for different things using JQ and this API. But I hope that you found this useful. Uh, I certainly will use this in the future, even if it's just for thumbnails, you know? And again, once you, you get one of these uh, URLs, you can just use something like image magic uh, so to display it or whatever, you know? whatever image viewer, as long as it does URLs, or you can just download it and open it. So now I'm rambling a little bit. I thank you for watching. I hope you do find this useful and I hope that you have a great day.